All right, what is up you guys? It's Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this taste test. So I'm pretty stoked to try these products that are in front of me because I have seen that Trader Joe's does carry a lot of vegan products, but I had yet to really explore what they have. So I thought, okay, it's time that I go to the store and see what they have to offer for us vegan folks or anyone who may be just cutting out meat or dairy. So yeah, I got a few products here in front of me today to try with you guys, so I'm pretty excited. But yeah, it's three different like meat products, um, two dips, and then a snack. So pretty stoked. So what we have is some vegan cream cheese. So yeah, they have their own brand. The only other brand I've ever tried is Tofuti, and it's it's so-so. They have a vegan ranch dip, which sounds delicious to have with some veggies, maybe with some bell peppers or carrots. They've got their own Italian sausageless sausages. So this one, and it says made from soy. We've got meatless meatballs. We've got breakfast patties. I'm excited to try that. That sounds delicious. And, oh man, I'm excited to try these. Everything but the bagel, if you know of their seasoning, it's like the best, but everything but the bagel nut duo. So it's got almonds and cashews covered with their seasoning. So I'm so excited to try that. So these two products are frozen. So I'm hoping they're not really thawing out too much, um, but I'm gonna cook these three up and then I'll come back so we can try them together, of course, bring my scale so I can try a little bit of each of the dips. I am gonna try them alone. I know that sounds kind of weird, but how else am I gonna be able to really get a good taste of them. So yes, gonna go cook these up and I'll be right back. Oh, you guys, I am so upset. I did not look close enough, but I'm glad I double checked because the both the sausage and the breakfast patties had egg in them, so they're not vegan. So I mean, I was able to like just quickly put them aside. So I can't taste those with you. But luckily the meatball is vegan, so I know, I'm pretty pissed. So I'll just give those products to my parents, but otherwise, so we're only gonna be trying four products today, so I'm sorry, it's a little limited now. But anyways, I know I have my sad little meatball all alone right here, but boy does that smell so good. And plus, I mean, I think these are gonna be the star of the show because that just sounds freaking delicious. So, Sad to say, but we are gonna try what we have with us and what we have in front of us today. So let me just, cause I gotta get my fitness pal, double check I have all the macros and everything. So I wanna start with the lovely meatball. Cause he's a cute little guy over here. They're so small. The serving size I said was like six of them, but I just wanted to try one. Let me like actually like open it. Ooh, that looks good here. I'll show you guys. If you can see that. Stop focusing on my face. There you go. Ah, the perks of having a camera with autofocus. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Like to make spaghetti and meatballs. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm obsessed with that, you guys. Wow. Wow. I would have been. I would have loved to have tried like the sausage and the breakfast patty, but that is so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta try the dips. I wanna try this ranch dip because that just sounds so good. I should have brought a spoon, but whatever. We'll use a fork because it's weird anyways that I'm trying it alone. All right, here's the ranch dip. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is thick. Girl. Oh, she thick. It smells so good ranchy that's a word i don't know i made a word up but here we go here's a little bit whoa okay so you get this mix of straight up ranch but i get this hint of okay coconut that's what it's made with it's made with coconut cream so it goes back and forth of this flavor of ranch to coconut and it's odd but it's good I mean, obviously I'm just trying it alone because I'm sure with just vegetables, you're not really gonna, I mean, you may pick up on the coconut flavor. I mean, it being coconut cream, it's kind of a strong flavor. 
I don't mind it personally because I like the taste of coconut, but if you don't, I don't really recommend it because you will taste it. Um, but it does taste ranchy, like <laughs> not raunchy. <laughs> oh my gosh, ranchy. So that's really, really good. I, oh, I can't wait to dip like a veggies in that. That is so good. Or I don't know what else I would top it on. Maybe like tofu. I don't know. I put everything on tofu. You guys have seen like I will put something sweet on top of my tofu. But I am excited to try cream cheese as well because mm, oh, that looks good. That looks real good. Like girl, she looking like cream cheese. So yeah, I'm going to be double dipping because nobody else is going to be really eating my stuff, so that don't matter. Fun fact, <laughs> you know those packs of like regular cream cheese that you can get for bagels? When I was a kid, I would just straight up eat those. I love cream cheese, so. Oh, I have, I have high hopes for this. Okay. It's okay. Mm. Uh, how do I describe it? Okay, I will definitely eat it and keep it, but there's this faint taste of almost Play-Doh. I know, I know. That sounds crazy and you're gonna be like, Katya, why would I buy that then? You could use it for recipes, I would say. It would probably blend better in any kind of like cheesecake or recipe that requires cream cheese. But alone, I mean, if you're gonna put it on toast, and put some like vegan locks or something on it. You can probably get by with it, but alone it's just like, it's odd. It, it's kind of odd. I mean, it's not too off-putting. Like, I'm weird and I like it, but I'm being honest to you guys, it tastes kind of funky. So, both of these, good. This is way better, for sure. But next, Le Nuts. All right, I got a few pieces of both the cashews and the almonds, and boy, they look good, oh man. And not bad macros, it's for a quarter cup, 29 grams, you get 15 fat, six carbs, six protein. So it's just as much as like eating peanut butter or some type of nut butter, but they've got the seasoning and everything on them. Oh. That is so good. That is so weird. Like, I would have never thought of that combination. But that is really good. Mmm. Oh, the almonds. I will say, I like the almonds with the seasoning more than the cashews. Like, I love cashews alone more than... I don't know. It's weird with the uh, poppy seed. But the almonds. Really, really good. Oh, man. This is good. Really good. Mm. All right, so I know this didn't come out as I had anticipated and maybe you had hoped because of two products that turned out to have eggs in it. But hopefully you guys learned like now if you go not to just like <laughs> grab something because I didn't realize on the back that until I read vegetarian and then I was like, oh, because at least what's really good about them is like they'll will write vegetarian or vegan on the product and vegetarian usually means it either has milk or eggs in it so i'm glad that i caught that quickly and didn't eat it um and then caught it for you guys as well but regardless the vegan ranch dip the cream cheese the meatball you guys the meatball and the everything but the bagel nut do definitely my favorite i like the ranch dip for sure if you aren't a coconut person you will taste the coconut in it, I will say that. And in the cream cheese, I do say just like mix it with something alone. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's a little off. But the texture is just like cream cheese, so it probably will do really well if you are going to cook with it or bake with it. So I do recommend it in that sense. I can't remember the prices on all of these. I did buy it a while back. But regardless, if you did enjoy this video, I know it was a little tough, so be nice to me. Do give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if there's any other places that you want me to try any vegan snacks. Maybe you know of other vegan snacks 
that are at Trader Joe's that I can look for next time I'm there because it is, you know, close to me, but I typically shop at like Sprouts, Whole Foods, that kind of place. So I will give other things a try, but regardless, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it, you guys. I love you all. And next we have a taste test of the lion's pack or the lion's choice. So stay tuned for that. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.